Hello and welcome. I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. This is our 31st episode of Elder Kings mod for Crusader Kings 2. And where we left off last, we had just had a tremendous amount of in-game lag and we were basically reduced to an unplayable state. And uh, I fixed that in the previous video. Nice little short video just to show you how to do that. Everything looks to be running perfectly smooth now. And let's just see where we're at. Probably a good idea to do this minor decisions thing. See if we can give out any more titles. Because they always seem to just not be there. I mean, feels like I always have something I have to assign. And unfortunately, we've got, like, kids in this list, which still doesn't make sense to me. But my wife might want a title. What can you make her? Sure, you can be that. Sounds good. And, uh, got a son in there, too. Ooh, wow. Yeah, you can be a royal assassin. Sounds good. And you can also be a, uh, court scribe. And we'll give you honors, too. And that's about it. All right. Good enough for me. I'm good. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to continue to conquest. Now we can actually, like, control the game and actually play. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my guys over there. And I did notice that one of the things that came about when I did this Telvani, or not Telvani, sorry, the Tanistry Elector system, I've got one son now who's not landed, so we're actually losing 0.8 prestige per month because of that. And, you know, it'd, it'd be nice to not have that, but I really don't want to land him <laughs> unless I get spare land. So I don't really mind... I mean, we're still gaining 1.1 per month overall. Not a big deal. But, um, yeah. So let's see what we can do. Notice how the game is running at a clip of a pace. It's funny, because they, uh, they never seem to want to vote for the right person. I, th I think, if, like I mentioned before, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to keep trying to upgrade. Um, I'm already to the cap on income for this castle of... It's going to be a long time before we get the technology up to level 2 for castle infrastructure. Considering we don't have even level 1 of anything, we're still at zeros across the board for technology. In fact, if we look at it, the highest is, you know, castle infrastructure is at 0.3. What are we focusing on there? Trade practices. That does not make sense. I don't know why I have it set to that. We don't even have any cities. should be at farming. Should not be on Noble Customs. Sometimes the they actually get reset. And so, yeah, legalism, farming, and we'll go with... What do we have the most of? Well, heavy infantry and light infantry. So let's go with infantry melee weapons, because that'll affect both of them. Where heavy armor would only affect the heavy infantry. So that'll be good. Plus, I like to have more offense. Training troops, that's all good. That's fine. We need our spy master to do something. How about you go ahead and scheme? I think the capital's fine. Just uncover some plots so I can put people in prison. <coughs> and I think we're doing good on conversion. Just send him somewhere else now. I can't really pay too much attention to it. And cultural tech is fine. All right. So we can create one last duchy. And we just need a couple more titles. Oh my gosh, I just died. No. <laughs> That's funny because I've been playing this over and over again, trying to get the, the corrections made to the save file. And uh, I've never died. And yet now I do. As soon as I turn the camera on. All right, well, let's see how we do with this succession. I'm a 10-year-old boy now, and I've got an elder brother who is... Uh, it's, even, it's hard to even see my family because there's so many dead bodies in here. It's like a bunch of dead toads. There he is. Now, he still likes me pretty well, considering, um, considering he's a title claimant. At least he's not ambitious. So we're going to have some opinion penalties for now, because we just took the throne. We'll have the minus 20 short reign penalty. Um, looks like we got that guy, desires the tribe. Actually, most of them are doing pretty decent. This guy's content. We have quite a few content people, wow. 
Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people who are content, and I haven't even been trying to make them content. They just they just happen to be content. Weird. That's unusual. Well, that should make our succession quite easy then. Um, but in the meantime, we are over our domain limit, and I'm not going to be able to get married for another six years. So let's go ahead and give my brother a title. Why is this culture wrong? Actually, I guess they're all different. Naga, Sarpa. Hmm. Well, we'll put my s my brother, who is... Uh, go ahead and nominate him. He's the correct, relig uh, correct culture, Patru. So we'll give him Rock Point, for example. Why not? Don't really care. Just give him one of them. That'll put us under our limit. And also gets rid of that prestige penalty for having... Well, actually, we, it was probably gone anyway, because he's not my son, he's my brother. Oh, naturally, yeah, I forgot I was going to get a regent, and now I'm actually back up to far, 4 out of 5. <laughs> oh, oops, oh well. <coughs> well. We'll conquest one of these and we'll hold on to it, not a big deal. And actually, let's play at the maximum speed so we can get more stuff going. And this guy's doing a good job fabricating claims. Good. He is where again? Glenglade. Greenglade. Yeah, we're going to need that. It's going to cost a lot of prestige for this character, because he just came into power. So actually, no, I'm going I'm to hold off on that. Um, I'm going to let it go this time and just leave him there, because I don't want to go negative. Negative prestige is much more penalizing than the benefit from positive prestige. For every 100 prestige you have that's positive, you gain one opinion with your vassals. But I think it's for every 20 or 25 that you go negative, it's minus one. So it's much stricter on the way down than it is on the way up. That tooltip needs to be updated to favor as well. But what I was saying is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep building my, upgrading my holdings um, as, as much as I can for gold. And if I can't do the gold, then I'm going to stockpile money for the creation of kingdoms, but then also I'm going to start building cities. We need cities. If we're going to have any kind of an economic advantage, uh, we're going to need them. Although it doesn't really look like there's a huge amount of mercenaries to spend money on. I still just like the idea of having more money. Uh, daughter was born to King Frog. All right, so I have a half-sister. I guess that's good. And what are we doing? Eagle there. Hey, what's this guy up to? Army of Moon March. Army of Moon March. King, the backup plan of Slow Rest. That's me. Where is this flag from? This little question mark. Is it this this guy here? Not really sure. Well, they're doing something. It's probably one of the patricians in his realm is attacking somebody or something. Or it could just be a retinue. I guess I don't really know. Not going to worry about it. Oh, we've got an independence faction with 40% plot power. Or 40% of our power. And it's actually being run by High Chief of Gideon. I think I just put him in power a while ago. He's got quite a few holdings. One, two, three territories. Huh. Well, let's see if we can order any honorary titles. No. Send gift. Eh. You know what we really need is we need a prisoner to release. Because this character didn't release any prisoners yet. Alright, we can imprison this lady. Where are you? She's in the Stone Wastes. Let's suppress revolts in the Stone Wastes. And imprison her. And release her. We're so merciful. Released prisoner bonus plus 10. Good, good, good. Alright, good. So that'll help. Um, he's still going to stay in that for a while. 
Normally you've got to get them above 80 <coughs> before they'll stop plotting. Or he's going to declare the independence faction war right now. Awesome. Um, hmm. All right, well, I guess we're going to deal with three wars at once then. Fantastic. And I'm going to have to go and deal with him, like, right away, because... Uh, maybe not. <laughs> it's a strange turn of events. Our enemy has died. The war is over. Um, so he died a natural death at age 61. Apparently his maimed, he lost a leg at some point, and uh, his ambitions were too high. So he, he died. He was an extreme train leader, an aggressive leader, and a rough train expert. Lots of bonuses, but uh, sadly he is now dead. We are gonna, we're going to mourn your loss, or mourn your death. Not really. In fact, I'm not going to mourn it at all. Now we've got a two-year-old to deal with. And as a general rule, children cannot rebel. So, that's good. <coughs> a sudden turn of events. Alright, come on, you are annoying me now. Stop running away. Let's see, he only has these two territories, so... Of course, we declared war on the Duke. And the other contested territory was Archon. So let's just head to Archon, at least for now. Oh dear, here it comes. To the deplorable king, the backup plan 2.0. What hole did you crawl out of? This is a formal declaration of war. Here comes Morrowind. Great. What do you want? So Morrowind has decided that now is the time to attack us over the Ducal War for Prince Balin's claim on Blackwater. So he wants this county here. And he has how many men? Just 11,000. Now we're not going to be able to, to beat that. So I guess the only good thing that comes from it is that, uh, well, apparently my little embargo war on Nibine did cause some problems. They fell into some sort of a full-on... What, what is it? What are you dealing with here? The third Nibinese civil war to lower crown authority, and it's 13% in favor of Governor Lorne Grenio. So that did help destabilize that realm. Um, I don't know. I'm going to probably wait a little bit while I deal with these two wars, and then I'll probably end up surrendering and just giving him that county. It's not worth losing our army over. He's going to come here and try to take that territory again. We've got some buildings to make, perhaps. Um, I don't know, I'm tempted to make these, but you know, if you think about it, like, if I made this militia training ground, I would get 45 more men for 100 gold. And it'd take three years. Four, three and a half years. If I just built another holding somewhere, like one of these, I'm going to gain more men than that, plus I gain tax revenue. Now, you have to build a bishopric in a town before you can build another castle, but it, it just still is usually better. You're better off just creating new vassals. If you can. We'll see. Comes the huge army, I bet. Probably gonna see it on the as soon as he comes within fog of war. Alright, so now we're gonna camp out here, get this war score positive. Wrap up these two wars, get some prestige, that'll make our vassals like us better, and then we'll see what we can do. It's gonna be a, a real challenge fighting against Morrowind, but uh, I think we'll be able to do it. And we're probably gonna lose this this captured county here. But then I'll just siege it again to get some money. And then my court priest is dead. No big deal. Just get a new one. Go ahead and improve religious relations with yourself. I always like sieging through bishoprics and uh, cities. Like this city, look at that. 15 income. It's got the small harbor, city guild hall, 
and it's got the benefits of the trade post there. So, yeah, we want we need more cities. Def desperately need more cities. He's actually only managed to put 3,900 men here for now. I have a brother who came of age. Might as well marry him into an alliance of some sort. Uh, let's do this. Gosh, it's hard to... With this many darn kids. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. Which brother was it that just came of age? I've already forgotten. It was not a half-brother. It was an actual brother, and it wasn't the one I landed. It must be this guy. All right, so how about you get married to this gal? That's fine. Regular marriage. Yeah, I mean, if I had actually been able to get my men up there and defensively fight against that army there, I might have been able to do something about it. And apparently I'm possessed. <laughs> that seems to be pretty common for Argonians. We'll send 1,200 men north and about 2,000 men south. Enough to fend him off and enough to cover this army as well. And... I think, at this point, he's going to continue just coming in and sieging more of our holdings. So let's see what it would cost us to surrender. Uh, we really lose nothing except for that county, so let's go ahead and do it. You can have it. It's fine. Temporarily. My uh, regent is gone. Must have been that guy. A steward, yep. Yeah. Go ahead and make you our steward. And how about you survey that province? I'd really like to see more of the survey province type stuff happen. Oh god, another independence faction. Great. And my regent is apparently terrible with stewardship, so now I'm actually over my limit again. Things are going poorly. Let's see, what can we do? I'm almost 16. I think I'm just going to wait it out. So for the next two years, we're going to have reduced income by one-third, because we're over our limit by one-third. But that's okay. As soon as we siege through this holding... All right, good. So Steward discovers Iliad Ruins during his survey, her survey. Economy, te technology, growth rate. Now, my understanding was that when they discover stuff, it opens up extra buildings as well. It can. I don't know which ones it does, or, you know, kind of how it works, but, oh well. And we're currently at war, so it's probably not a good idea to be building. That's one of the reasons the build times are just so long. I keep forgetting about that. At war, build time, plus 0 0.250. And that, for some reason, that modifier seems to work, but the modifier from the law doesn't. So, we need to respect the law. <coughs> Prince Frog for Soul Rest Faction, okay. Not a lot of support. I'm seeing some battling going on here. Um, I'd like to raise Crown Authority as soon as I get out of my Regency because I'm tired of this infighting. Apparently they're fighting over Black Marsh. Or they're fighting over some claim there in Gideon, which is annoying. I just don't like it when they fight each other. Money has been disappearing. Let's make sure to make get some people appointed here. Apparently women can lead they can lead combat, which is surprising. I didn't realize that uh, women were allowed to do that. Let's just put anybody in charge. And should be good there. So they'll go there and fight him. That siege is complete. Let's get some people commanding this army. Uh, put her there. We only have four people that can lead troops, apparently. I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. All two of them, apparently. Do we want to... Uh, wow, she's got a little patch on her head. What's up with that? Why do you have a patch? Did I blind you? Maimed arm. Maimed tongue. Maimed eye. Cool, and I put a patch over her face. That's awesome. 
So apparently I got I gouged Ryan out. Um, sweet. Should we oil should we oil up the rack, or should we resist our follow impulses? Mm. Let's see if we can do something mean to her. Uh, actually, not to her. It's going to be to this lady. All right. So currently she has no injuries. Let's see what happens. Nothing. No, that's sad. I was hoping she'd get injured. I'd like it better if we took out an eye or something. All right, come on, come on, come on. Okay, one war's done. Good. Uh, let's enforce demands. Now we have somehow raised our limit, but we're still over our limit. And let's see if we can wrap up this last other war as well. And then we'll end up this video here. <coughs> and actually, I'm going to give this one away. Even though this is a great coastal province, it's going to have access to the to our republic that we've formed down here. Actually, Archon is the one that has that republic there. But um, you know, it's it's good tax revenue from those two counties. But this one's is weakened, and it's a different culture group. So if I create, if I give this county to someone that is Agasef, then I can get rid of that wrong culture penalty. So let's search realm for men not in prison who are not mar uh, any marriage rather. Not rulers. Yes, my culture. Yes, my religion. And then for some reason, it, it doesn't really work. The whole not my, yes, my religion. Yes, my culture. It's actually sh sorts by culture group. So if I sort by culture, we'll be able to find some Agasef people. Even though I am not Agasef, I am Patru. So it's kind of annoying, but let's sort by stewardship and find the highest Agasef guy. Uh, this guy hates me because I just took his title somehow. How about... <coughs> um... Let's just go with this guy. Even though he doesn't like me because I... I mean, he doesn't have a great opinion of me. If I land him with that territory, let's see if I'm actually right. Territory of Archon. Okay, so he's still positive despite the fact that I have a short reign and he thinks I'm a foreigner. But now, if we let this game tick for a little bit, there goes that wrong culture penalty. So I've made the land usable again, and then later on I can try to convert him to the correct religion, or correct culture. Okay, uh, this has taken far too long, so I'm going to break it up here, and then in the next episode we will end this little war and start taking advantage of the Nibine, uh Independence War now, apparently. See what we can do with them. I don't think there's any other wars to declare right now. Plus we have a truce, but... Alright, so in the next episode we'll do some things and stuff. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.